Hello students, welcome to the second session of chemistry. In the last session, we have started with the seventh lesson of your syllabus, that is elements of group 16, 17 and 18. Now, in that session, we have learned about the first property of group 16, 17 and 18, that is occurrence. We have covered that. Now, we will start with the second property in this session and that is electronic configuration. We will study the electronic configuration of all the three groups that is 16, 17 and 18. Now, you all have studied in 11th standard in detail about how to write electronic configuration. Is it? Now. What is mean by electronic configuration? Electronic configuration tells us about the arrangement of electrons in different shells, subshells, as well as orbitals. Now, we'll start with the first member of a 16th group, that is oxygen. Oxygen has atomic number 8. Then, the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, first shell and second shell. Second shell has the capacity to accommodate 8 electrons, but in the first shell, there are 2 electrons, that is 1s2. Second shell, we have started with, but we have remaining only 6 electrons. Hence, the second shell is incomplete with 6 electrons. 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, that is the electronic configuration of oxygen. There is one more way to write this electronic configuration and that is called as condensed electronic configuration. What do you mean by that? It is the short form in which you have to write the noble gas which is located previous to your element in square bracket and then the remaining electronic configuration after that square bracket. Now. Helium has atomic number 2. That means first two electrons we have already written in the square bracket and the remaining electron that is 6 electrons are located in the second shell and so the condensed formula of oxygen will be square bracket helium 2s2 2p4. Understood? Okay, we will start with second element that is sulfur with atomic number 16. That means we have 16 electrons and we have to distribute them in different shells and subshells. And the electronic configuration will be like this then 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, first shell complete, second shell complete. But in the third shell there are 6 electrons, 3s2, 3p4. Now, previous to sulfur, the noble gas located is neon with atomic number 10. Hence, square bracket neon means up to 10 electronic configuration is covered. Now only 6 electrons are remaining. Hence, we just have to write the last shell electronic configuration that is 3s to 3p4. So this is the condensed electronic configuration of sulfur. We already have studied this in 11th standard in detail. Still, some revision. Now, can you write now the electronic configuration of selenium? that is atomic number 34, tellurium that is atomic number 52. So this will be the assignment for you and for this session. You have to write the electronic configuration. You have to cover the total electronic configuration of all the elements of group 16, 17 and 18. Okay, I will write one more electronic configuration. Shall we start with the last element? That is polonium. Okay, polonium with atomic number 84. Now, 84 electrons we have to distribute and so they are distributed in different and variety of shells and the electronic configuration will be like this. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, 6p, 4. Again, if you see the last shell is 6 
and it has only six electrons, six s two, six p four. It is very important. The last shell we have to remember the electronic configuration of the last shell because that decides how many electrons are less or more in the last shell. The all chemical properties of the elements depend upon this last shell electronic configuration hence it is very important now what will be the condensed formula of polonium and the previous member of the noble family is xenon hence square bracket xenon with 6s2 and 6p4 now we will see together all the three groups and their condensed formula now this is the table which completes or which covers all the elements of group 16 that is oxygen family, 17 that is halogen family and 18 group that is noble gases and their electronic configuration. So I have written condensed electronic configuration of these elements. Now as you all are aware of how to write electronic configuration so it's better to write it again just open your textbook you will get atomic numbers of all these elements now this is the assignment that you have to write electronic configuration of all the elements of a group 16 17 and 18 now you will see the general electronic configuration of these elements now if we consider 16th group then you can see that there is the outermost electronic configuration of all of these you can see that 2s2 2p4 3s2 3p4 4s2 4p4 like this up to 6s2 6p4 last shell is known as nth shell hence it means in the last shell there are six electrons of which two electrons are in s sub shell and four in p sub shell hence the last shell electronic configuration is ns2 NP4 and that is called a general electronic configuration as I have told you that the last shell electronic configuration decides all the chemical properties of these elements. Hence it is very important and it is called a general electronic configuration. Now 17 group elements. Oxygen has atomic number 8 with electronic configuration helium square bracket 2s2 2p4. Fluorine next to it has atomic number 9 that means only one electron is added and where it will be added that will be in the second shell itself that means it has atom electronic configuration square bracket helium 2s2 2p5 in the same way neon atomic number 10 only one electron has a place to get accommodated in the second shell hence neon has atomic number 10 and its condensed electronic configuration will be square bracket helium with 2s2 2p6 second shell complete as second shell is complete we can see all of the elements of group 18 have completed their last shell they have fulfilled electronic configuration in the last shell hence these are called as noble gases but the 16th and 17th group elements, if we see the general electronic configuration shows us that group 16 elements has two electrons less than the corresponding noble gas or 17 group elements last shell as NS2 and P5 that means there are seven electrons only one electron is less. So the general electronic configuration is NS2 and P5. But 18th group elements have completed that is NS2 and P6 electronic configuration. So this is a general electronic configuration that will decide the chemical properties of these elements. We will see that later. Now understood about the electronic configuration. Try to write electronic configuration of these elements. If you need any help you can go through your 11th standard textbook and we will understand how to write the electronic configuration. Okay, so this is second property. Now we'll go to third property. That is atomic and ionic radii. Atomic and ionic radii of these elements that is 16, 17, 
and 18th group. Now, atomic and ionic radii. What is mean by it? Atomic radius is defined like this. The distance between the center of the nucleus and last shell of that atom. This is called atomic radius. Now, the properties or these are called periodic trends. That means how the property changes if we go through the group that is down the group from top to bottom or from left to right from first, first group to last group. How the property changes and that is called as periodic trend. Now we will see the periodic trend of atomic and ionic radius. Now in all the groups that is 16 and 17 and 18th group atomic and ionic radii increases down the group increases down the group why it increases now we have seen the electronic configuration oxygen has atomic number 8 that is 2s to 2p4 next is sulfur that is 3s to 3p4 that means from oxygen to sulfur we come the third shell is added that means as the shell is added, the atomic size increases. As we go further from sulfur to selenium, the electronic configuration is 4s to 4p4. That means again one shell is added. So, as we go down from oxygen to polonium, the atomic and ionic radia increases as a result of increase in the number of shells as we go down. Every time a new shell is added, hence there is increase in the atomic and ionic radii. Now what will happen if we go across a period from first group to last group? Now across a period, atomic and ionic radii decreases. Why did it decrease? Because if we see the electron is added in the same shell as we move from left to right. Now, suppose, consider oxygen, fluorine and neon. Oxygen has electronic configuration 2s to 2p4. Fluorine has 2s to 2p5 and neon has 2s to 2p6. That means, electron is added in the p subshell itself, in the second shell. That means, shell is not added. But the electron is added in the same shell. As the electron is added in the same shell, the power of nucleus that means protons are also added in the uh, nucleus thus the power of nucleus to hold electron increases across a period and it is called as effective nuclear charge because the positive charge that increases negative charge that is electrons number of electrons also goes on increasing but the radius remains same it is called effective nuclear charge. So, as we move from left to right, across a period, the electron is added in the same shell. Hence, there is increase in the effective nuclear charge and the atomic and ionic radii as an effect decreases. But, if we move, if we go, if we compare between group 17 element and group 18 element, as 18 group elements have stable electronic configuration, the outermost shell gets relaxed somewhat and hence they have a larger atomic radii than the group 17 elements because of the stable electron configuration. Hence, if we compare all the periodic table, we will see that Group 17 element that means halogens have the smallest atomic radia in their respective periods. So this is all about the atomic and ionic radia or the physical property of these elements. There are still some properties we have to study. Their periodic trends we have to see. But up to this I will complete this session. Thank you students.